Hello everybody, it's SCD Med Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the M60. This is a tier 10 American medium tank. It's definitely not the heaviest, but it performs just as well as any other medium inside the game. Now, let's go ahead, jump straight into the statistics here, and just let's take a look at what this thing's offering us. So... Uh, just to throw it out there, the penetration on the M60 is actually 20 higher than a lot of other mediums inside of its class, which does give it a massive advantage whenever it comes down to the premium penetration. Along with that, you have 268 standard APCR. Your premium round is heat, by the way. 53 millimeters of high explosive pin. It's enough to get the job done, but do not rely on them too much. Along with that, damage, we got 390 for base, 390 for premium, and 480 for high explosive. 2,000 hit points, still concealment at 0.12. It's not exactly the most well-hidden vehicle out there, but the view range is what counteracts that at 420 meters. So you're able to get the view range on this beast up to 489.72, not including your premium consumable. So once you add your premium consumable, you're going to be breaking 500. But keep in mind, the max V range is 445. So you're going to be spotting out highly concealed tanks of 445 as long as they are not behind foliage. And yeah, that's the advantage of this. It's so good. Seriously, if you're on Prokhorovka or Steps or a map that needs V range, Milanovka, this tank is absolutely devastating. 60 kilometers per hour, top speed. Along with that, we're looking at reverse speed. Where are you? Why am I so blind? Oh, top reverse speed, 23 kilometers. So it's extremely mobile. Uh, one of the biggest problems you're going to run to is your hatch. Now, along with that, we got 6.82 rounds a minute. Uh, reload time is 8.8 .8 base. You are able to get that down to 6.8. But rather than that, I, I don't like running a gun rammer. I prefer the extra concealment. So I do run an advanced camouflage net just to give me that extra concealment. Along with that, 57 rounds in total. That's enough to kill the entire enemy team. Uh, 0.33 accuracy. You don't need too many accuracy buff perks on this tank to make it usable. 9 degrees of gun depression, 19 degrees of elevation. 9 degrees of gun depression is going to allow you to work a ridge line extremely well. And with the way the hatch is put together, you don't have to overextend too much. You can basically just pull over a ridge, pop the hatch over, and it's going to spot out the target. Now, jumping into the engine here, we're looking at 20.53 horsepower to ton. That's going to be really gnarly to have. You're going to feel that really kicking in, especially if you like to run fuel on your tanks. 10% um, fire chance. I haven't had too many bad experiences with fires inside this. That 10% chance is extremely well labeled right there. Now, taking a look at the tracks, we have got 52 traverse speed in total on the tracks, 0.7 on hard, 0.8 on medium, 1.7 on soft. You're not going to notice too much of a difference once you do hit the soft, especially if you're running the off-road driving perk or clutch braking. Clutch braking, it's not as good as the um, off-road driving. So between those two, I find off-road driving to be a lot better to run than clutch braking. But if you combine the two perks, it's a big big advantage now jumping over to the turret we have 178 frontal armor 76 side armor 51 rear so at the right angles it's still an auto ricochet so it is a round turret so keep that in mind even though you have 178 on the front the way it rounds off it helps get those auto ricochets especially if you're using your nine degrees of gun depression along with that 42 degrees of traverse speed on the turret you're going to be feeling that a lot now jumping over to the armor for the m60 all righty this is the one thing I wasn't ready for. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, maybe I am ready. <laughs> okay, so we have 177 up in the front here. Not labeled with the 178 that they were saying. Uh, jumping down to the lower plate. The lower plate's actually 143 millimeters over on console. On PC, it has been readjusted to counteract what people were talking about. So your lower plate's actually a lot thicker than what it says here on Tanks GG. Uh, your top plate, however, we're looking at 93 millimeters of top armor. The side armor, side armor on this tank is actually not that bad. We got 63 millimeters all along the edge right here. So along that center pike. So it cannot be overmatched, not even by a Death Star. They need 62, 62 millimeters or lower. So if you are side scraping with this, the auto ricochet angle will bounce any round that hits it. 
But there is a downside. As we get further towards the back and the lower end of this, it can be overmatched. So just know, once you hit around the rear, the rear has less armor, 36 millimeters, and you got your 63, and it just goes all along the back. So honestly, the armor on this, it's not that bad. And then with the heat rounds, once you start loading the heat rounds, well, yeah, 350, it's going to be... Yeah, other than that, speed and mobility and trying to rely on as much concealment and using the map and terrain is going to be your best bet. So, there, there's not really much to go over for the M60. The tank is honestly completely fantastic. And here I am just tapping buttons, not thinking too much. But, you know, it, it's a normal day. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys are too. I'm trying to get used to my key bindings. I'm still not used to them. I still make a lot of mistakes, but I do got a good replay for you guys today. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at the commanders and what crew skills I'm running. So this is the same one that I run in the M48 Patton, the LPC, and basically any medium that I have inside the American tree or any premiums that I have that are American. I find this to be a really well-balanced crew. Even though it doesn't have any accuracy bonuses, you don't need accuracy bonuses to make tanks work. So six Sense, Muffled Shot, Green Thumb, Silent Driving. Silent Driving on medium tanks, I highly recommend that you use them just because you have you have less concealment than a lot of tanks. So using Silent Driving just to help you relocate or try to just not get spotted if you're last man standing, one versus three, or whatever the situation calls for, Silent Driving is an extremely strong perk for medium tanks. Rapid loading, just to get that extra little bit of the reload since we're not using a gun rammer. Born leader to increase all crew effectiveness. Camouflage expertise, track mechanic, situational awareness. Track mechanic, it's a requirement in my opinion on almost every single tank that you run. Now, let's jump into this replay. We're on mines. Mines in tier 10. I, I liked it at first. It was really meme and trolly, but depending on the tank that you're in, I do not find this map to be that good to be honest it's 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 medium it's too small the matches are way too fast so it is what it is though it's not bad to have it if they were to redesign the map a little bit and give us uh what the variations they have in pc which is actually a little bit bigger than what we have over on console i think it would really work out but for how small it is on console it, it's just too small so you're gonna be taking your right just to try and hold down the right side flank. Honestly, it's either you go middle, you go far left, or you try to cut up the right side. And for this match, I decided to try and cut up the right side a little bit. M60 overall, um, the way that I feel whenever I'm playing inside this tank, um, the armor viewer over in Tanks GG, I don't feel like it gives it much of a uh, advantage whenever you look at it from there looking at the armor but the armor on this tank is actually not that bad and a little bit of lag right there that was not comfortable um my entire hardwire setup should be complete here within the next two or three weeks and once that's done i'm going to be starting to work on getting a new desk to get everything set up and i'm going to be taking some classes on editing that way we can get some better content out and i'll be able to upload daily so i'm super stoked about that now the m60 with the hatch that you have up on the right side you can play a little bit of aggressive focusing on one flank and slowly pulling up and over to try and spot out for the right side, which is what I was doing right here. Since the hatch is up so high, it counts as a viewport. So it's going to spot out anybody inside the radius on that right side, and it's going to be the only thing popping up. And it just, it, it's amazing how well this tank performs. And if you guys have been grinding out that 70 day challenge that they had going on and you're getting ready to get your M60, I hope that this helps you out. So with the mobility that it has, depending on the map you're on, this tank is easily able to relocate wherever you need it to go. But whenever it comes down to smaller maps, you're going to find this tank struggling a little bit unless you can find areas to use that 9 degrees to gun depression, to use the fire rate that the tank offers, or depending on what map and what you're doing, to use the concealment that the tank offers. And sad face, we bounced off the machine, but he also bounced off us, so... Ricochet up to 297. Our damage is not exactly the highest right now. The spot assist, it's not the highest, but it is what it is. You want to take a little bit slow on mines. So trying to look for a little bit of a spot to fire into, and right there, we're just going to put a shot out into the K91 that was last spotted. 
So critical hit, no damage dealt. So at least we know we uh, tracked him in place. He probably got forced to use a repair kit, which means that he's down for about a minute on that repair kit. Now the M60 overall, it's a good performing tank. It's a really good performing tank. However, it is not a front row brawler. It, it can be used to brawl. It does have enough side armor to get up in there, side scrape, especially since it's a boat shaped haul. You can also overextend just a little bit. But keep in mind, your rear end of the tank is going to be getting overmatched by 120s. So you want to be extremely careful whenever you are pulling out to get those side scraping shots. If people are thinking ahead of time, they're going to aim a little bit further back to shoot you inside the 36mm spot to overmatch. So it's usually best to try and find a ridge and use the top speed and the power of the weight of the vehicle to relocate a lot quicker and to be able to pull up and get those shots in. Now, if you're looking to free XP the vehicle and you've missed out on that 70-day challenge that was going on, uh, honestly, do I recommend free XPing this? If you like your Americans and you really like your Americans and you just want to get the M60, it, it's a good performing tank. It's, it's not going to be, you know, top tier every single game. There are some maps that are going to make this tank feel obsolete. Um, along with that, the gun mantle on this tank. So if they shoot the gun mantle and you're angled, it's basically an absorption 90% of the time. There are moments I have had tanks go through. And, oh, we just bounced off of a light tank. Those T-54s, I'm looking to get my hands on, on my own again. Such a great little tank. It's got really, really trolly side armor. Along with that, it's got a fantastic turret. But other than that, we're here for the M60. Why am I talking about other tanks? Uh, well, I, I guess it is what it is. This is um, step one out of three that we're doing. So, M60, overall, not a bad tank. It's got really good view range. This thing can be used as a dedicated spotter. Um, it can have aggressive side plays. The gun accuracy at 0.33, you can actually rely on this accuracy extremely well. It doesn't have many problems snapshotting if you need it to snapshot. Now, the concealment, getting into the concealment, it's not the greatest concealment. You've got to rely on bushes, trees that you knock down, a couple of other positions on maps to try and get your concealment to be boosted up. But whenever it comes down to relocating, you're going to be safe around... 350 meters to about, let's say, yeah, 350 to 370 is your safe zone for driving. So, just know that. Second you pull out, you're going to have a lot of problems if you're caught out in the open. But we did get a ricochet from the ISM, so we did bounce one of his shells. Or it was an absorption and he shot the track and it just went completely underneath the tank. That is a benefit to the M60 with the boat shaped hull. It super trolly and just make shells fly past quite a bit. Now, pulling back, you do not want to get shot by a T-95. That's a no-no. Stay away from those. They hurt quite a bit. And pulling up, we're going to try and get another shot into the FP-4005, and instead of, you know, aiming for the rear like I should have, I shot the building. But, you know, fun, fun things happens, and I guess this is a fun thing. And right before we are able to get the final shot off, someone else takes him down, which we were looking to steal a kill to begin with, and we weren't able to, so... Happy we got denied! <laughs> it is what it is. So the M60, overall, if you guys are looking to play this tank a lot, don't use it as a front row assault. It is not a front row assault. It's more of a support role tank. Along with that, it can be used as a replacement for a light tank if you need to use it as a replacement for a light tank. Uh, do I recommend it? Not entirely. The premium rounds inside the M60 with the 350 heat pin, those are some extremely good heat rounds. And if you are relying on your heat rounds in close quarters combat, so for instance, Himmel's Dwarf or a couple other maps, this tank can be really good at side scraping and even baiting shots into the lower plate. So as Tanks GG, we saw over in Tanks GG, the lower plate, wasn't the thickest but over here on console we're looking at 143 we still have the buffed version of the m60 compared to what pc has so we got the 73 millimeters up top along with that we got the 63 millimeters dead center and then right below there we're looking at 35 to 36 in some places now the 35 that they're aiming low enough they're just going to overmatch you period but they got to try and get past the 65 and the 73 so overall, it's a great performing tank, and the way that the hatch is set up, it's not bad. 
Well, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, seriously, leave a comment. I'll try my best to get back to you guys as much as I can. We also have a Discord over, which I will try including into the description if you guys are looking to get into that. If it is not in the description, please leave a comment letting me know. I forgot to put it there because I am a Muppet and my brune, my brain. Yes, my brune. My brune is smooth. So until next time, you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you over on Twitch whenever I'm live. So don't have too much fun. I'm out of here.